So then, we are back with more understandings from the time of the Second Tabernacle Services where we find the Aramaic English translation of the word. This translation comes from the original manuscripts of the prophets of the Tzaelic lineage. So then, we can understand the time of the end. As per Yerushiahu the prophet, we find layers of understanding of the Spring Feast, the Autumn Feast, and also the returning of the cities of the Messiah laid the waste for many centuries. As we read then Yerushiahu the prophet, we are always amazed with what this prophet has done thus far, because during his time he also had many troubles with the nation of Israel, and then he was able to get some directives not only for Israel itself, but also for the other nations. And this obviously is the objective of Israel, but at the moment they are entangled with their own affairs, and that's why then their influence in the world is very minuscule. Then as we read, we find then what's going on then in the world as far as, as the economy. Well, China has done it again. China has very important plans for this year for the United States. And they have come out with a report, very interesting, regarding then what China has a plan of linking up the retailers of the United States in order for the United States to have more items sold. It is extremely important because it's showing precisely then what China has on the agenda and linking up the rest of the world then from further on. As it was explained before, China has also the objective of linking up the northwest side of China and then roughly couple of years or 24 months or so linking up the rest of the world and obviously United States is a very important country very big friend of China and China has come out with a very interesting program named then IPAS these can let those people in the United States to get obviously linked with the Chinese system and then receiving the benefits from it at this time, this amount is a starting point, but in a roughly the next couple of years or so, they have a very huge amount of money involved with it, roughly as 300 million linked with this new way of doing trade. So as it was explained before, China is always then having this forward motion and helping other countries becoming more acquainted with the big changes coming in this world. So then, as far as we can read from this report, it's found in a very important newspaper known as the Reuters, it's from uh, Great Britain, and in fact um, the Prime Minister of Great Britain is the United States for a couple of days, and today they're going to have very important talks in the White House and let's hope then through this conversation the old English ways of doing trade such as being honest and reliable and people that can do trade without stealing or thieving then we can truly start trusting each other with values and with our monetary monies and then obviously taking benefit from this new system. Now, if the countries, they are trying to go against China, then the situation becomes worse and worse and worse. If we go along with China and we make the proper changes, then we get the most of the benefits. So then, as far as we can understand as China, we are during the Dragonic period simply means precision via computer. This shall limit then the number of politicians stealing from the country and there are some countries that are very bad in terms of thieving. Name some of them, for instance Brazil has a government that is absolutely bent on stealing and thieving. It is absolutely a disgrace of the utmost in the highest level of stealing. Now we can understand 
when you have a team in the government who is then obviously bent from stealing from the government, stealing from the people and cheating, what would be the best way of countermanding this situation? It's obviously hiring people from abroad, hiring Englishmen from abroad, and then get those values of the old English ways so then the governments can become somewhat clean because the stealing is rampant and China obviously has its share in placing these areas under the control because this new system is going to obviously limit the amount of money stealing from politicians as long as the president of the country is somewhat halfway trustworthy now, if the president of the country is a scoundrel, either she or he, then obviously changes won't be very noticeable. So then, what is the deal then as far as what Alibaba has for the United States? So then, this article states, Alibaba's and Alipay's program for United States companies is named e -Pass. It includes a custom pre-approval process, a sort of a fast lane that shaves days of delivery. Daiwa analysts John Coy and Alex Liu named that capability Alibaba's largest advantage over rivals such as JD.com. So then when we understand this factor, what was explained before as far as, as then the freighters of the earth? What is the objective of this program? Simply, obviously, reducing the days of delivery. And then continue on. Alibaba and Alipay have made pilot deals to handle payments and shipments to China for department stores such as Neyman, Saks, Macy's, Macy's, Bloomingdale's, Chain, Ann Taylor, luxury fashion sites, and a pearl label Aero Postel, according to Butter Free. The companies declined to comment, although Neyman, Saks, and Ann Taylor confirmed the deal. So we are finding ourselves then understanding this topic because it is the utmost importance of maintaining the sanity of governments because there are so many politicians stealing and in some countries for instance Great Britain or United States the word stealing they don't talk very often amongst the governments because United States is a set of many governments they have independent states but what goes on in other places of the world is simply stealing. It is so rampant. And they have this tendency of placing tragedy, for instance, wrecks, either in, you know, airplanes or then on roads. And they point the fingers at each other. And rather than the people absorbing then what the English people have set out throughout the world, as far as, as the great kingdom of Great Britain, the empire, and then the great morals as far as, as dealing with commerce. So China then is truly leading this way because truly is going to limit what people they can steal. So what is the deal then with China doing this? So let's then give an idea as far as, as the timing that China has given. At the moment it explains the industry insiders point to just 15 billion in annual US to China cross-border consumer sales now. But Daewa estimates cross-border purchases and that includes sales American products within the country can grow to 1.8 trillion yuan or 291 billion by 2020. It is not a big thing right now, but within the next 12 to 18 months, 
what you will see more of it bringing 300 million Chinese consumers to retailers in the United States Alibaba Voice Chairman Joseph Tai said in an interview with Reuters last year he laid out the broad plan and sources have now described details so then the amount of money at the moment as we can verify is very limited because the government of the United States is against what China is doing because US is ignorant and they don't understand the intricacies try to understand China is not trying to promote control over the United States they're trying to promote ways for people to post their products and then prosper themselves so then the old system that was then protected for a thousand years for instance 800 years Great Britain then obviously protected the world's trade and then a couple of hundred years later the United States and the time is expired however the great ways of doing trade as per the English ways as we understand for instance Hong Kong was an outpost of the British Empire in many other areas in China and around the world and they've learned how to do trade properly and they prospered so then as we read these is not promote some sort of a control but promoting more trade how many of these retailers in the United States for instance they have some limited advertisement of their products now if you think of Alibaba the largest in the world wouldn't you be a bit excited of being part of this company and having your products instantly tens of thousands of millions of people then watching your products instantly online would not this give you more confidence that you can have your products sold of course it would but then comes a point where it was explained before it is crucial for governments linking up with their freighters computerized tracking systems in preparing themselves for tax purposes because the system is coming as it was explained before they already had this plan and motion now it's coming out of details we said many times before the Chinese system is coming the Chinese system is coming the Chinese system is coming then so many people did not even know what Chinese system was and then truly came now we are observing the details of these new coming and there is more if a Chinese consumer bought a pair of shoes from Saks for instance Alipay would handle the financial transaction the shoes go to an US based Alipay facility that handles the transfer to China after clearing customs a local partner typically would handle final delivery Alibaba has even taken on the role of akin to a cultural liaison for US retailers Trace Weber for instance chief operating officer of the online retailer Gilt said that as their Alipay trial progressed the Chinese company began increasingly to help with marketing and even product selection advising them to use more red for instance or to more prominently display crossbody hang the bags popular in China so these are great news China is taking the role of leadership and they are showing the way of finding new ways of coming out of the crisis started in 2008 so then the other nations for instance obviously as Great Britain was always the leader as far as, as a decency and sort of system where people can rely upon each other 
Obviously, they are making preparations themselves. That's why it's so important the great visit of both Prime Minister and also President Obama in the White House at this very day. So let's hope they can promote what China is doing so then other nations can get linked up with them and then simultaneously starting cleaning up their countries and get rid of those unfruitful, lazy politicians where they only take space, they are dead weight, they are not familiar with the systems of China, they don't understand e-trade very often, they sit around and they talk and they get paid for it. So truly is a time of cleaning up the parliament and make sure people they are giving opinions in order to promote more trade. These would be then the English ways of old. And these are what we should glean for ourselves. So please stay tuned. Much more.